Hello and welcome to Stop Motion University. I am your instructor, John, and I'm gonna give you a brief overview on how to access your profile along with how to access the courses that you've purchased through the website uh, and basically how to progress through them. So first off, let's log in and you'll see up here, you can either register or log in. Um, you can't really do that anywhere else except for here, upper left-hand corner. So let's do that, click log in and you enter your information. I'm gonna hit this reCAPTCHA, which allows me to access the website security thing. Click login once you've done all that. And then it will take you to the same exact page, except you'll have profile upper left hand corner and log out. Okay. Uh, next, what you'll do is you'll go to your profile, click on profile. And in the profile, you'll see that you'll have your your little icon, your avatar, avatar. Yeah. And your spaceman spiff is what I put for my name. But uh, you can put whatever you want here. I highly suggest that you put your real name because by putting your real name, that's what will show up on your certificate. Whatever you put here shows on your certificate for enrollment and for graduation. So I would highly suggest putting your real name there. Um, next, if you scroll down, you can see you can see your certificates, your quizzes, your wish lists, your orders, assignments, um, all that other jazz, along with uh, your settings. So in general, you can do pretty much change your name, uh, add a biography, uh, change photographs, that kind of stuff. Actually, avatar is where you change your photographs, but general will give you that as well. Uh, cover image. So like, for instance, I go to general. Dun, 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 dun. You see, it's giving me general avatar cover page, cover image, password. So you'll see it's all pretty much there. All right. Biography, whatever. All right. And then I'm going to uh, save my changes. Boom. Do that. I didn't change anything really, so I'm just in there. But it should, there we go, go to my courses, which is the main page of your profile. And then you'll see in here, if I click on in progress, it's what I've in progress. I've already started this class here, so I'm gonna click all to show you absolutely nothing because there's nothing else there. But if, for instance, I click finished, that in progress class disappears. And that will happen pretty much if you're in progress and you've bought a class and you're like, I'm not seeing my classes here. It's because you're in this in progress one or you're in your finished or passed or failed. Go to all and you should see your other classes that you're enrolled in. All right, now beyond that, we have up here how many classes you are enrolled in, in progress, finished courses, past courses and failed courses. Uh, that pretty much give you the breakdown of that. Uh, now, let's actually access the class itself. There's two ways to do that. You can go to courses and go to the main page of that course of that class or you can go here in your profile and click on the name of the course and it should open up the main page of that course. Once there, you have two options as well. You can either click continue and go to the course or you can go to the curriculum section and you can click the name of any of the classes, the lectures that you wanna, you wanna um, go into, right? So let's say I wanted to go to intro to pixelation because I'm gonna skip all that other stuff. Should take me to intro in pixelation. And then let's say I want to uh, finish this, mark this as complete. I'm gonna hit complete here. Hit yes, because I've studied it. I know what it is. And then it's gonna pop me into the next class, which should be history of pixelation. There you go. So you can also go backwards. I can go, let's say I wanna go to camera theory and go back and restudy what I've already learned. Use these green check marks mean the classes that I've completed, right? So you have these green check marks. And then you can go through all these classes, review your stuff, and see it'll even say completed if you've completed it. Now, if you haven't completed the class, you need to mark it completed. Otherwise, you don't get credit for it and it will slow your progress down. So for instance, there's six out of 73 items uh, completed. So I know what my progress is in this course and how far I need to go. Um, this number, the 73, may increase or decrease over time depending on how I'm feeling with the course. Maybe I need to change something. Maybe I need to shift something. Same thing's true for all the classes. Um, I actually condensed this. I think I had at one point 168 items and I pretty much cut it in half because uh, it was just a lot of information that was not necessary. Uh, you didn't need it as a beginner. It was pretty advanced stuff and I was kind of overloading the students. So I've actually reduced and condensed quite a bit for this specific course. So that number can change, all right? Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. If you want to leave comments and stuff, you can leave them here in the classes. Like if you're missing an item or something, it'll show up and I'll see it and I can review it. Uh, also, if you have assignments and you want to submit your assignments, you go to the assignment page and you will 
copy the YouTube video, uh, uh, share buttons, you know, copy and paste information, and you paste it here. And then hit send, and it should upload into the assignments module for me. And then just message your instructor, and they, they can review it. It's either me or somebody else. Um, but for the most part, that's how you uh, submit your assignments. If there are images, it'll be a whole, you could just choose the file here and do the same thing, all right? That should cover it for now, um, except one last thing. If you want to exit out of the course and go to the your profile or page or whatever, you have to click this little X here, and that will send you back to the main page of your, of your class, all right? And that's it. Pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, I hope you have fun in our classes. There are going to be quite a few classes. Uh, we also will have live lectures and a bunch of other stuff for you guys. Um, but for the most part, enjoy yourself, have fun, and I can't wait to see your progress. See ya. Thanks. Keep animating.